When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. Number 5. TP-Link Archer TTU Plus the TP-Link Archer TTU Plus wireless USB adapter is not a high-end piece of hardware, but it is an interesting one. It has an affordable price and promises to deliver excellent wireless range and speeds, both on 5GHz wireless bands as well as on 2.4GHz bands. We've tested it for a few days to evaluate how well it performs and what it has to offer. The TP-Link Archer TTU Plus wireless USB adapter comes in a small box made of cardboard. The front side of the box shows you what the Wi-Fi USB adapter looks like and also gives you some information about the power of the antenna, the maximum speeds that it can achieve, and the fact that the antenna's position is adjustable. Regarding the design of the TP-Link Archer TTU Plus wireless USB adapter, the most interesting and useful part about it is the fact that you can adjust the antenna's position any way you like it. The antenna can rotate 180 degrees relative to the USB adapter and 90 degrees horizontally. The TP-Link Archer TTU Plus uses a USB 2.0 port and can connect to Wi-Fi networks that broadcast both on the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. It offers support for all the modern wireless networking standards up to 802.11ac or Wi-Fi 5. Furthermore, it comes with 256QAM support, which is a technical way of saying that the 2.4GHz data rate can increase from a standard 150Mbps to 200Mbps. On the 5GHz band, when connecting to Wi-Fi networks using the 802.11ac protocol, you can get a fast theoretical maximum speed of 433Mbps. If you want to know the exact physical dimensions of the TP-Link Archer TTU+, Plus, they are 2.28 by 0.71 by 6.83 inches, or 57.8 by 18 by 173.4 millimeters. As for the operating system supported, the TP-Link Archer TTU+, Plus officially works on any version of Windows and Mac OS. As far as we can tell, the TP-Link Archer TTU Plus is an excellent Wi-Fi USB adapter that works well and offers both good Wi-Fi speeds and coverage. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 4. TP-Link T4U V3 TP-Link is a frequent favorite with our forum members because its products tend to cost less than the competition. In this lineup, the Archer T4U is indeed the least expensive contender. TP-Link's Archer T4U includes all of the features you'd expect, including a WPS button on the adapter and a status LED which lights up green. The antenna is fully internal, facilitating a smaller profile than some of the other contenders. Overall, the Archer's T4U's chassis is kind of square and chunky, and the plastic feels less durable than its competition. It's particularly glossy and shiny, which makes it prone to scratches too. The aforementioned LED transmits light down a strip of clear plastic. This is a clever trick that makes the output look like more than a single LED. In fact, no other USB adapter in our roundup is as bright. If you're gaming on a tricked-out PC or notebook, the Archer T4U will look right at home. TP-Link software can manage your Wi-Fi settings if you want it to. While the utility does not provide a Windows network settings map, other essential information is there, including the SSID, type of network, type of encryption, wireless mode, and a transfer rate estimate. Testing a Wi-Fi adapter sounds easier than it is, really. I've been testing the Wi-Fi adapter for the past three weeks, together with my Dell Latitude E6410 running on Windows 10. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a USB 3.0 port, which means that I haven't been able to test it with the high-speed USB transfer speeds of USB 3.0. The installation process was really easy, and actually it was just plug and play. Windows recognized the Wi-Fi adapter immediately, and after entering the Wi-Fi password, I was ready to go. If you're looking into buying a pretty good-looking, decently built and fast Wi-Fi adapter, you should be considering the TP-Link Archer T4U. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 3. Linksys WUSB 6300 
The Lynxus WUSB 6300 is a decent AC1200 USB Wi-Fi adapter. On one hand, the software was stable and it was simple to set up, the speeds were acceptable across the various distances, and all of this was in a package smaller than any of the competition. USB-attached Wi-Fi adapters are incredibly convenient for hooking up to your local network wirelessly, and Linksys is one of the most prolific names in that segment. After being bought and integrated as a consumer division of Cisco, Linksys was then acquired by Belkin in 2013. Although Belkin also makes networking equipment, Linksys exists as a separate brand, making it one of the three under which Belkin sells its products. Linksys WUSB 6300 looks like a typical USB Wi-Fi adapter. It's encased in black plastic and interfaces with your PC through a USB 3.0 port. It also has a button for connecting via Wi-Fi protected setup, a security shortcut that facilitates encrypted connections between your router and the device, obviating the need for manual configuration since the password is generated by the router. Starting on the right, labelled with a 1, is the USB 3.0 connector. Moving to the left and labelled with a 2 is a radio frequency shield that monopolises almost half the PCA. Underneath the shield are two 5GHz power amplifiers, two 2.4GHz and the main Wi-Fi controller, which is a Realtek RTL8812AU. A little farther to the left is the WPS button, labelled with a 3, and above that is a pair of LEDs marked with a 4. Finally, the number 4 designates the two internal antenna, which are integrated into the PCB. There are two issues that I believe contribute to a modest performance profile. First, this was one of the earliest AC1200 USB attached adapters on the market, and its design is showing age. Second, the better performing competition includes antennas that are discrete from the PCA and not built into the same circuit board. Although external antennas sacrifice the slim profile, they clearly have a meaningful impact on our throughput results. While uneven performance is not particularly confidence-inspiring, at the right discounted price, Linksys's WUSB 6300 serves as a capable wireless adapter, particularly if you're staying relatively close to your router. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Asus USB AC68 the Asus USB AC68 is the latest USB network adapter to come from the labs at Asus. This solution gives support for 600 Mbps over 2.4 GHz and 1300 Mbps on 5 GHz. The antennas that are built into this latest design seem to build off of a gaming feel, similar to what you get with the Spaceship AC5300 router from Asus. The interface of choice for this solution is USB 3.0 and packaging does include a desktop extender. Packaging is clean cut with an image of the adapter centered. At the bottom, there's a bit of marketing information on the adapter, including its interface and supported speeds. Removing the cap, we have the USB 3.0 connection. Also notice the V-groove in the plastic housing that enables the cap to fit snugly while also seating the adapter in the desktop extender included in the package. The external three-position antenna design also gives the adapter some extra design aspects and it looks pretty cool standing next to the system. Yes, you don't even need to have this large adapter plugged directly into your system, although you can do that too. It comes with an included cradle stand with USB cable, allowing you to remotely place the adapter at an optimal position for better reception. 5 GHz is a more recent addition to the consumer Wi-Fi specification, and on this frequency we find both 802.11n and AC standards on offer. We know that 802.11n is the only standard to run at both 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies, and this is the most common standard for ISP routers to feature. Unlike the 2.4 GHz band, 5 GHz radio waves and solid brick walls do not go that well hand in hand, so whilst it does support a much faster throughput speed, its range can be severely crippled in a dense operating environment. The Asus USB AC68 dual band wireless AC1900 USB adapter allows for easy access to fast wireless networks on any system that previously didn't have this function, as long as you have a USB 3.0 port available. The almost plug and play nature makes it easy to use and the driver installation is quick when needed. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Netgear Nighthawk A7000 Wi-Fi USB adapters can be a hit or miss component to any gamer's PC. While some of them can be spotty and unreliable, others can be solid pieces that make a lovely addition to anyone's gaming rig. The latter was the case with the Netgear Nighthawk. With over 2,000 Amazon ratings, it seemed like a solid choice to complement my brand new custom desktop. 
Though a large, clunky beast, the adapter breezed through six days of testing like it was just getting warmed up for the marathon. At first, I was very concerned with placing this adapter next to my precious PC. Unfortunately, the Nighthawk is too complex to be a plug-and-play adapter. An accompanying CD needs to be inserted into the drive. When it auto-runs, a menu pops up where you can either automatically connect to the internet or manually connect. From here, you have two options. You can either press the WBA button on the side and run to your router, and press the reset button, thus automatically connecting the two within two minutes, or you can manually enter in your information to connect. The adapter itself comes with a vertical docking port for laptop users, but my concern focused on the port's magnetism that comes with bright yellow warning stickers plastered on it. The dock 4.9 by 4.28 by 1.22 inches is designed to be able to stick onto a magnetic surface, thus negating the need to use desktop space. Too close to any major computer parts though, and you could deal your PC some serious irreversible internal damage. Long-range testing seemed to be the way to go first, especially since hauling a desktop around the house sounded like a pain. So, popping over to Google, I ran the speed test. My eyes nearly popped out of their sockets when the test came back with 92.4 Mbps on a 2.4 GHz network, the fastest Wi-Fi speed my computer had ever registered so far from the basement router. Considering three floors separate the router from the PC, this was a very pleasant surprise. If you're an avid gamer who likes to slay hordes of undead zombies online, or if you simply want to catch up on Fortnite, this is the adapter for you. The speeds alone demonstrate great connectivity, and the reliability means you won't lose your game because the internet cut out. Buying Guide Firstly, wireless protocols. Wireless routers all have the number 802.11. The letter that follows this number is what dictates the transmission protocol that the router supports. 802.11b routers offer the shortest, slowest connection, while 802.11ac will provide the broadest and fastest connectivity. The key here is to ensure the adapter you pick can transmit on the same protocols as your router. If you have an 802.11ac, for instance, you'll want an 802.11ac wireless adapter. 802.11n or 802.11ac is usually recommended for users shopping for both the router and the adapter to ensure fast and reliable connectivity. Secondly, type of USB ports. If you go for a USB dongle, the speed of your connection will depend on the type of ports you have. If you have a laptop that has only USB 2.0 ports, for example, the maximum theoretical speed you can get is 60 megabytes per second. In comparison, USB 3.0 tops out at 640 megabytes per second. This won't matter if your broadband subscription is below 60 megabytes per second, or if you choose any protocol other than 802.11ac, but it's an important factor nonetheless. And lastly, adapter size. Some Wi-Fi adapters are bulkier than others, and more often than not, it's your computer setup that will determine how big you can go. USB ports are usually close to one another, which means the device you buy needs to be small enough not to block adjacent ports. Furthermore, if you're using a laptop, a small dongle will be less likely to bump into obstacles and break while you're repositioning the computer. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.